The throw. The Yankton Bucks are the state champions. Stevens fans what? on their feet. Looking to Henry. It's almost like a fraternity when True. we go to state tournaments, yeah. whether it's basketball or football, and no matter where we go, it's a fraternity out there. We get to run into the coaches, we run into the officials, we mm -hmm. run into the fans, and uh, that is what is, is fun too. It is, and, and that's the thing. We get to be part of this fraternity, even though we both kind of stink at athletics. You know, I mean, that's, that's the best part. <laughs> Well, in, in some of the events, you know, King Louie, well, you know, when he right. was going through the, the, the scoring record. Joey Stahl, here's Krogman. <laughs> and White River. I thought maybe they'd stay out in the front court, but Louie gets the basket, and he drew the foul. 47 points for Krogman. We've seen girls' basketball records. Uh, football we've seen the Hail Mary mm -hmm. no doubt he's gonna drop roll right side the throw he'll throw it as far as he can horseman tip in the air touchdown the winter warriors Jade Nodell touchdown winter warriors the tip to win the, the state championship and what was so unexpected about that and listen Tri Valley and Winter are great and great football programs and I'm friends with both of the coaches that was one of the dullest football games you've ever seen up until that point when Dan Aker of all people decides to throw a Hail Mary in the end zone and it's tipped and it's caught and winner gets the touchdown that's that's phenomenal that was great as far as my favorite overall tournament for me personally my favorite overall tournament was 2007 out in Spearfish the girls a and the reason for that is, I truly believe that you could have gone back, that was the year Vermillion won it, but I truly believe you could have gone back, started that tournament over on Monday, and had a completely different outcome. You had so many, Kristen Roder from McCook Central, and, and Dells was in it, and uh, Walschlager from Millbank, and I mean, there were just so many great players in that tournament, and so many great teams. Great teams, great balance. That was probably from beginning to end my favorite tournament. Whether they're winning a tournament or losing a ball game, just the natural raw emotion of seeing what, what they do. When that final whistle, the final horn is blown, and you're seeing the reaction of the coaches along the, the sideline, you're watching the kids, the reserves, those that don't even get in, see their reaction. That's the most fun when you go to state tournament. Yeah, and the other thing, it just happened today. Here's a prime example. Uh, uh, Miracle is out singing the Lakota flag song. And her friend, her friend's job is to hold her gum while she's doing that. I don't get that view from any other spot. You know, I, where we're sitting is where I get that view. To see kids be kids. Because, you know, there are a couple of a junior and a sophomore in high school. And to see them as much more than just athletes, that's, that's really the, the fun part, too. That's why we talk about whether they're involved in band or whether they're on the honor roll, all of that. And, and over the course of the years, I don't mind saying, we've had people tell us, shut up and just give us the game. We don't want to know that other stuff. Well, a lot of people do. That offensive line, big hole for the running back, his 12th touchdown of the season. Tupac saw action last year as oh. a freshman, and any time that a player sees significant time as a freshman in Sioux Falls, you know that that player is going to be pretty good. The last that I remember was a young man by the name of Nate Gary. You just never know what you're going to expect right. with some of these games. I mean, we've seen some games that... Not very good. We're I mean, good. Let's face it, there's not, that, that happens. Mm -hmm. But the most memorable ones are the ones that are unexpected. Craig and I pride ourselves on the fact that, that when we're doing a state tournament, we're not here to coach, we're not here to ref, and we're not here to judge kids. We're here to focus on kids, to highlight kids. We know kids that we've covered through the course of the years. This is the highlight of their life. 
not just of their athletic career, of their life. And so consequently, that's, that's why we enjoy doing this. Uh, it's part of why I enjoy doing it is just because of the fact we get to highlight kids. Yeah. And we don't care who wins. No. We don't care at all. We just want a close game. That right. would be nice. They're going to bring in Drew Gilton in the game. And Drew Gilton's going to hold on to the ball. Pragmatic. He's quite a bit older than me, if you didn't know that. I, I've been a fan of his for years when I was when I was growing when up. When I was like 12 years old. Remember those old hockey games where you had the sticks? You know, oh, yeah. You had to, you had to, you had to yeah. twist the players. Yep. And you had the little, little puck that would... Um, my brothers would play that, and then I would be standing next to them doing the play-by-play -play because they were <laughs> the Minnesota North Stars and the St. Louis Blues, and I was doing play-by-play. -play. I mean, I remember doing that. To, Al Shaver of uh, the Minnesota North Stars was a huge fan of mine, and uh, in fact, I, I you went, were a fan of his. A uh, fan of his. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm sure he knew me. <laughs> I went to school, went to radio school with his son. Oh really? So I went to so I got to meet Al when I'm going to radio school, which was a huge thrill. But I remember doing that as a kid, and you know what? I guess the Lord has blessed us. Where yep. I knew what I wanted to do right away. Yep. And have been able to do that. Yep. Likewise, I used to spend hours with my dad listening to Nebraska games. I'm a Nebraska boy, and uh, listening to Lyle Bremser, and and that's that's where you know the love for sports came from but also the the interest in broadcasting and to be able to do this uh has just been an unbelievable blessing there's there's one time quick story we're driving to show pigs in chicago from hampton nebraska both craig and i are from very small towns which is maybe why you know we relate well to state events but uh, uh we're actually we're getting out of range of uh, Lyle Bremser calling the game of the century, Nebraska, Oklahoma, 1971. And my dad was not exactly sophisticated. Uh, I'm working the dial trying to find another signal and the game is coming down to it. And we're only hearing like two out of three words. So my dad doesn't pick an off ramp or a rest area. He just pulls to the side of the road with a load full of hogs on the interstate on Thanksgiving day, 1971, so that we can listen to the end of the game. And, and so those are memories that pop up too, as far as the inspiration. One of the reasons, I wanna get this in, one of the reasons that Craig and I make a pair, and I think we make a pretty good pair. We're still working on it, but I think we do pretty good. Craig is the most prepared broadcaster I've ever worked with when it comes to sports. And he doesn't beat you over the head with it. He's got information that he drops in at the appropriate time. Howlers outscored Stevens in that third quarter, 17-14. But this fourth quarter, 14 to two, Cobblers. What makes us appropriate in a good combo is I'm not, I'm not that guy. I'm more like your uncle at the picnic that gives you your first taste of beer. You know, I'm, I'm just kind of the fun <laughs> one, you know? And, and so it really works out. When, when Craig, and, and not that he's not fun, I'm not saying that, but Craig being so, <laughs> Craig's a ball. <laughs> uh, being so dialed in and so prepared and keeping that, that thing constantly driving forward allows me to loop up and down and back and around when, when we're broadcasting together. I so, don't remember what I did yesterday, where Mike's mind, <laughs> you, you can remember so many things. You know what happened. True. Everywhere. Every, but, but we get props. We should make that clear, too. No, but your mind we, is, is a lot better than mine. I can't remember a lot of things. Where yours is, 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 is awesome, remembering some of the, the great players and stuff that we've done over the past. And if memory serves me, I believe that uh, Amy Barnett was on that team for Huron. I think you're right. And Amy right. Is, is going into the South Dakota Sports Hall of Fame this year. She's a great high school basketball player, also won shot and disc and track. And, when you're dealing with only 800,000 people in the yep. whole state, everybody knows everybody. Yep. Eventually. Yep. Everybody, it's it's so unique, and it's so many times where you and I are broadcasting uh, games of of fathers or right. mothers who we've done. Right. Uh, yeah. And that doesn't happen at, in every state, but right. it does in South Dakota because of the the, the small number of 
schools that we have compared to other schools. Right, and we've talked about this before. You know the six degrees of Kevin Bacon. In South Dakota, it's two, honest to heavens. You know, everybody knows each other. That's, that's again, why we try to put that, that personal touch on things, is because of the fact there, there are those connections. But yeah, South Dakota is very, very unique. It's, it's wonderful. I like it a lot. It's a good one to uh, get started. And uh, I'm Craig Maddock. There's Mike Henriksen. And Mike, when we when we first heard that St. Thomas More was moving up from class 11B to 11A, what was our first thought? Our first thought was West Central and St. Thomas More in the dome. And by golly, that's how it has worked out. I would miss it terribly. Yeah. I really would. I'd still go. I would still go. But I, I would certainly miss it. Right. Because it's it's part of what South Dakota is, isn't it? South Dakotans love the high school athletics, mm -hmm. right? They love to go to their games. Oh yeah, yeah, yep. Even though you and I don't have a connection to any school, right? We really don't. Mm -hmm. it still, would be fun to go. I hope I don't have to worry about that for a while, but right. I think my answer would base on: Can I still get good parking? <laughs> I mean, that's really what it boils down to. That's that's what I make so many of my decisions on anymore. Is you know. Is there a good place to can park? Can we get to the hospitality? Can, can we get, that's right. Can, we get can, the, I, can I still get the free stuff that comes along with it? I was going to, to state tournaments long before I was a broadcaster. I'm, I'm gonna keep going to state events. Six yards to go. Counter play, Bills get the hole to the twin. 10, five, touchdown, Brock Bills! Are you kidding me? The, the people. It, it is truly the people. It's the people that we work with. I have never done anything longer in my life than be partners with Craig and partners with the folks at South Dakota Public Broadcasting, uh, with the exception of my marriage. Good thing I caught that. Uh, but, but honestly, professionally, this is it. We go back 16 years together. We used to be rivals on different radio stations. Uh, doing mornings in Sioux Falls on different stations, but we've always known and liked each other. I didn't know how much I was going to like him and enjoy working with him, but it's been wonderful. 